there is one thing we should take note that it's not everybody who has a lot of friends some people are the type that they don't want to mingle with a lot of people they just want to have one yes friend for everything one or two people close okay. so these are the people i'm talking about that in case maybe i confide in you and you try to disclose to other party it's a no no oh, no, ma no matter no matter the category mm -hmm. of friendship you fall under you for not spill you spill no you take exactly that should be the basis yeah. for but friendship you need to trust doesn't mean if you are that less hangout friend you should go and lie on me if you are that intellectual friend you should go and lie on me you don't take lies on the friendship table is a no no and if you can't be hundred nobody is hundred percent we are all not perfect but for the trust it's a must. Yeah. It's I realize must. I'm not saying anything because me, I don't tell my secret to my friends. So one of the things, mm -hmm. my friend, if you eat my food without telling me, mm -hmm. like I put my food in the fridge, and you don't tell me you, you want to eat it, and I come back and you've eaten it, it can be a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the truth. I know someone I'm not talking to because you eat your food in your fridge. I'll vent. I'll vent. I'll vent. Mommy, listen. You see, no, my bush and I'm telling my man. No, like. Are you me? Food? No. Oh, listen. You see, you were talking about secret. Me, I don't tell anybody my secret. Okay. My your secret is your power, though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Six mm -hmm. feet. So I can't relate to mm -hmm. telling. Fine. I, ca I can't relate to telling my friend. No. How does one move on from a friend? See, let me share my experience. Share. So my first ever friendship breakup was a best friend of mine. There was an incident that happened, and it was like a miscommunication. And bear in mind, I've known this person for a very long time, but when the situation happened in the heat of the moment, we were both very upset, and we didn't give each other the time to even speak. Within that same time frame, it was, I think it was probably like, I had to travel for like a month or two, and she had to travel as well. So within that space, it was like, we didn't give each other the time to even sit and talk. A ghost moment. So it was like a silent moment. And during that time, anyone that knew me at that time, see, I've seen broken hearts, but this broken heart was like worse than anything. Friendship. Because yeah. bear in mind, people think romantic breakups are very um, daunting, but they need to understand that friendship breakups is worse because as a friend, you don't have to conceal anything with that friend. A friend gets to know you as you. You know, sometimes when you're dating, are, you are very selective of how you want the person to Even see how you, you behave, around, how you the behave person. around the person. But with your friend, you literally like you don't necessarily have vulnerable. to even very vulnerable to the person you're yourself you're yourself you know so i felt like i connected more with that particular person even more than any other relationship see i would wake up at dawn and it's like my heart was get a beat i know that feeling and i would cry like i actually cried over a girl when you're lgbtq <laughs> like it was like a normal friendship like yeah. someone that i genuinely care yeah. about and it really took a toll on me for the longest time and even people on social media started to realize that what's going on because this is somebody that the two of us were like lovers, you know that's so what you say we're like what exactly 